Hi, this is Yako from Builder.com reporting to you live from the 2010 PCBC conference in San Francisco. I'm here with Don Stevens from Panasonic, and uh, he's here to talk about the Whisper Green line of uh, ventilation fans. So thanks, Don, for Thank taking you. the time. So notice you have some new products at this show, some things that are coming out, and some uh, existing products that we all really want to know about. So, okay. and, and you have some new awards, I guess, that you've uh, received. So let's talk about it. All right. The fans that you were mentioning, the Whisper Green fan, is our premier line of fans. These are a DC motor. They're the most efficient fans that we have in the marketplace. They're the most efficient anybody has in North America based on the... So DC versus what's a regular fan? Regular fan is, is AC, alternating current, your normal 120 volt house current. This is also takes 120 volt, but it steps it down to provide DC low voltage to give speed control. So that fan you can set for a speed that you want, say 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 CFM, it'll stay at that CFM, and then in the case of these, we'll kick to the full speed of 80 CFM or 130 for a different one to actually make the, um, make the airflow the, the amount you want. The idea is that we have a continuous low level of ventilation and that's, that's uh, included in the ASHRAE standard 62.2, which is a ventilation standard for residential construction. Um, and that standard calls for a continuous level and then uh, based on the number of people and the size of the building, and it mandates how many CFM that is, but it doesn't tell you how you have to do it. So these are not just bathroom fans, you're saying? These are really continuous circulation vent fans and bathroom fans. And somehow you can tell when someone's in the bathroom? Well, yeah, they, quite often these are used as what we kind of call double duty fan. They're being used for the whole house or whole building ventilation, the continuous low level. Now, what's that? That's for air quality or? That's for air quality. That's a, an air quality measure that's based on the number of people and the size of the house. And it's, it's typically kind of 30 to 100 CFM is the range from almost all houses. So these fans are designed to run at that low level and then to kick to the higher level in a bathroom uh, when somebody is going to take a shower. One of the unique things on a DC motor like this is that it, it's like an ECM motor. We can set the speed, a variety of speeds, and the wattage is very low on the wattage draw, uh, like 5 watts at 30 CFM, uh, compared to 60 watts for a traditional bath fan. I think this, is, this uses 5 watts. Is, is that sounds like less than like a uh, power supply just when it's plugged in, or something like that? Oh, yeah. Your power supply in your computer is 100 watts. Uh, this fan on its high speed on 80 CFM is only drawing about 13 watts. So why isn't this mandated across the industry? Is this an innovation that you guys had? It's an innovation that, that we brought to market a couple of years ago and we've continued to improve because of the need for having very efficient ventilation. If we want people to ventilate all the time, it needs to be an efficient fan. If we want them to let it run, it needs to be a quiet fan. So these are amongst the quietest fans that you can find in the market. Even at 80 CFM, that fan is less than 0.3 sewn. A sewn is a measure of the sound level, and a typical older bath fan may be four or five sones. This is actually down below three tenths of one sone. So you're saying just this is uh, roughly how much quieter? Because I know that's it's kind of a technical term, the sones, but uh, how much quieter is this in typical usage? Sones are a linear comparison number, so that two sones is twice as loud as one sone. Uh, us engineers talk about decibels, but those are logarithmic. We don't want to get involved in logarithm. So the linear relationship means that this fan at three tenths of a sone is ten times as quiet as the more typical bath fan at three sones. So you're saying this is ten times quieter than regular fan. That's right, and if it's an older fan, it, that older fan may be four or five or six zone, and your range hood may be six or eight zone. So it's a very, very quiet operation, so people will allow it to run. They don't notice it's there. Uh -huh. And um, so, this is, you, so you basically have a line of these products now, and uh, can, let's explain what are the differences between the different products that you have here. We have single speed fans uh, in the DC and, and also multi-speed, four or five or six speed. Uh, we actually have four different levels of fans within Panasonic uh, fan families, if you will. 
Um, there's a whisper value that's intended to be able to go into a two by four kind of depth. Uh, because it's a shallow depth, it tends to be a little bit noisier. So it's more of like eight tenths of a sewn to get that kind of flow. Uh, then we have this, which is called whisper fit. It's five and a half inches deep, so it'll fit in a two by six. And it's a little bit quieter. As you can see, it's... Um, 0.8 sewn, .8 sewn. Um, and and then whisper ceiling, which is we've just upgraded that whole thing. Where, where is that over here? Whisper. We don't have uh, that one on here. It's on this other display. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll show over to that. But we just upgraded that whole family of fans, uh, 50, 80, 110, 150 CFM fans, to be more efficient and to be quieter at higher static pressure because you have more duct runs, longer duct run. So they're, they're more efficient, so they use less power and they're quieter than the previous generation? That's right. And, that, and these, those particular fans, all of these others except Whisper Green, are an AC motor but they're still somewhere in the 15 to 20 watt maximum sort of a draw. So the Whisper Green's the most efficient, the others are still more efficient than most anything else out there. These qualify for like lead points uh, in terms of indoor air quality or any kind of uh, green standard points? These qualify for lead, they, um, the, the lead for homes program, the, um, the Indoor Air Plus program from uh, Energy Star EPA, the National Association of Home Builders Green Building Standard, um, and 15 or 20 other green building programs all require compliance with ASHRAE Standard 62.2. It mandates one zone max for that whole building continuous fan. So we've always had, from Panasonic, we've always had quiet fans. Well, we've gotten them quieter and quieter over time as people have begun to understand why we want quiet fans to be there but so nobody notices they're running. And so we continue to, to ratchet down on the sound they make as well as getting the energy down some. Do you find it hard to market a product that basically is silent and invisible? I mean, how do you convince someone to really think about their bathroom fan? What we found over time is that mold and mildew issues are related to having moisture in the building. And a lot of that comes from bathrooms, and it comes from cooking, it comes from plants and other sources. But unless you vent out that moisture, it will keep things damp and you'll get mold and mildew growth and lead to potential health issues. Also, it leads to damage to the structure of the building to where you actually end up with having part of the wall rot, things like that. So by having continuous low level of ventilation, you maintain a, uh, a continuous picking up of, of contaminants and then have spot ventilation, as it's called, to get those high polluting events like taking a shower or cooking uh, or boiling something uh, where there's a lot of stuff in the air and now you need a higher flow to, to take that out of there. Great. Well, it's great hearing about the line and look forward to seeing in the new additions if there are some next year. All right. And uh, thanks so much for the interview. Thank you. Great. Great, so this has been Yaakov reporting from the Panasonic booth at the 2010 PCBC conference in San Francisco. Thank you for watching.